They're looking for polarization, not of optical light, but of microwave light from the Big Bang, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. So remember I said inflation. Inflation is this theory that there was this quantum field that fluctuated, that produced everything that we know and love about the Big Bang. It would also produce what are called gravitational waves, waves in the fabric of space-time itself. That, those waves would perturb the electrons, the protons, the early uh, hydrogen atoms in the universe when the CMB, or cosmic microwave background, was produced about 400,000 years after the Big Bang. When light interacts with matter, as you see from the glare, it becomes polarized. That matter would be polarized, that matter and its orientation would change depending on how much gravitational wave energy was present when the CMB was produced. So it's actually a gravitational wave detector. We're using the photons of the cosmic background as a type of film, if you will, and onto which these waves of gravity, if they exist, and only if they exist, they get a, in, in, they get a polarization to them, a curling, twisting twi uh, pattern of polarization that called, we call it B-mode polarization. Mm. Wow. So it's a, it's a lot of logical stuff, but actually it's, it's very well tested and very well theorized. It's, it just it's, hasn't been detected it's, yet. It's quality physics going <laughs> right. into that. <laughs>